Hello Sagittarius. We're going to be doing a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection and how you feel about each other. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation, and leave the rest. This reading will be for those of you that are in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. So let's jump right in. As always, you can check out other place, your other placements for more messages. Uh, I have a link to all of the different playlists for each sign in the description box. If you want to see what else is going to be happening for you. Right, so angels, guys, first Sagittarius. For Sagittarius, please Sagittarius need to know regarding love. Please Sagittarius need to know regarding love. Okay. For Sagittarius, what do we need to know about Sagittarius and the person they are connecting with, thinking about at this time? So let's see what we get for you, Sagittarius. So in your connection right now, we have the Six of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Emperor Reverse, Aries Energy. In your energy, we have the Nine of Wands, the Devil, and the Two of Cups Reverse. And in this person's energy, so you're gonna have to actually move these around, I think. Gonna have the five. Oh, okay. Five of Pentacles. Wow. Five of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Interesting. So I'm gonna have obviously your energy here, Sagittarius, and your person's energy on this side. But you can flip it if it resonates more for you. Overall energy is the Page of Wands reverse. So <clears throat> I am not sure what's happened. I know that this is someone that perhaps you have a special connection with or some sort of a soulmate connection with because I have the Six of Cups and then you have the Two of Cups. It is reverse, but it's there. I feel like this person has definitely done something they shouldn't have done or there was some sort of conflict that they're involved in here with the Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, and then you have the Devil Capricorn energy here. So something definitely happened. Um, I feel like also with the Nine of Wands reverse on your side, it's almost like you kind of want to drop this burden because maybe there was a separation here or something that divided you and this person. So let's see what we can get. Can we get some clarity, please, on these energies for Sagittarius? Let's start with what's going on in your connection. King of Swords is here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. They tend to be very direct, open, honest. So let's see what this is about. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords? The high priestess so what i'm getting here is clarity the truth regarding possibly something that was hidden or some sort of secret why is the king of swords here why is the king of swords here the fool and the wheel of fortune at the bottom of the deck so the Fool and the Wheel of Fortune, when they're together, for me, it's almost like a new opportunity, a new event, something that it is a new cycle, but that's propelling you forward. There's momentum. I feel like when I see these cards together, the King of Swords, the High Priestess, the Fool, I think something's out in the open. Something happened between you and this person or surrounding this connection. And it's like, there's clarity now. Either someone investigated something or found something out or something came to light. Tell me about the Six of Cups. What's the Six of Cups about? What's the Six of Cups here? 
page of pentacles so i feel like this is somebody that you have a past connection with um but i feel like this is somebody that thinks about yours i don't know it's, it's, i'm picturing someone that's thinking of you fondly and justice is here libra energy so i'm getting like um someone offering you like uh an apology I, i'm getting an apology even though technically this is in like page of cups knight of cups can i get one more for the justice and the page of pentacles what can you tell me about justice and the page of pentacles strength leo energy strong leo energy the sign at the bottom of the deck again clarity it's almost like this is happening someone's coming to you with some sort of like not a gift but like um like extending an olive branch or i don't know it's almost like this is this is this is because of what's out in the open so something is out in the open everybody knows about it or you found something out sagittarius whatever um I feel like because of that, someone's coming towards you now, you know? So why is the Emperor reverse? This is technically somebody or t tends to be somebody that is feeling powerless. They don't have control over the situation. Um, sometimes they have bad tempers because, you know, they're not, they're not um, able to keep control. Um, so let's see what, what this is about. Why is the Emperor reverse? The Emperor reverse, what can you tell me? Wow, judgment, okay. Big energy here with judgment. Again, I feel like this is somebody wanting a second chance or something like that. Yeah, Ten of Swords. Bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot, Cancer, Energy. I feel like something has ended, or this person is going through an ending. And it's almost like judgment is here. So either they're having some sort of realization, or they want a second chance. Tell me more about judgment. After something has ended, they they want, you know, a rebirth, a, a revival of some sort. Can I get some more for judgment? Why is judgment here? Six of wands, six of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this is somebody that wants a second chance and or is recognizing that they want to be with you. They want to give to you. They want to balance things out with you. This could also be your energy, Sagittarius. You might want to fix something with someone else, have a second chance with someone else. Let's get some insight on your energies. Can we get some insight on the energies between Sagittarius and this other person? Tell me about the energies between Sagittarius and this person that they are dealing with. Tell me about Sagittarius. What are their energies? Towards this connection, Sagittarius. Can you tell me about their energies? Strong bonds. Strong bonds and ties can influence someone's decisions or actions. Family, union, partnership. Well, I find it fascinating that we have strong bonds and there's the devil here. I feel like there's some sort of attachment that either you have currently or that you're thinking about when it comes to this connection. One of you could have a family that is an influence, whether that's positive or negative. Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is or will be dealing with. What are their energies towards this connection? The person that Sagittarius is or will be dealing with. Hidden motives. Okay. 
and get a cover. All of the decks that I use are linked in the description box if you're curious. Can I get some insight, please, on the energies between Sagittarius and this other person? What can you tell me about Sagittarius? What can you tell me about Sagittarius? Mature woman. Hmm. So this is an older feminine energy. It could be a parent. It could be a mother-in-law, sister-in-law type of energy. But it doesn't have to be a female. Okay, tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with here. What are their energies? What do we need to know about their energies? Expectation. So this is somebody that's waiting for something, um, expecting something. Okay. Now your person does have hidden motives and it does not surprise me because I have the five of swords here, but I'm trying to figure out like what this is really about. Um, what this is really about at the end of the day, is this somebody that's hiding something from you or hid something from you because I do have the high priestess here but the high priestess is here and I have the the fool and the king of swords so I think of something that is already out in the open or uh it has been revealed whatever was hidden is revealed let's clarify move this over Let's start with this Nine of Wands reverse. I feel like you're ready to, I don't know, the Nine of Wands reverse to me as a reader is someone that can't really, they're not dealing with something well um, and are kind of giving up, you know? Whereas before they would stick around and despite the difficulty they would, and despite the fact that they're not trusting and defensive, they're still there standing guard. But when it's reverse, it's almost like they might have given something up or just can't deal with something, so. Let's see, why is the Nine of Wands reverse? Why is the Nine of Wands reverse? The Knight of Pentacles, the Empress. The Empress, well, the Empress is someone with a lot of value. The Empress is abundant. I feel like I'm missing a very important piece here because this Empress would not, well, first of all, they're not just going to accept just anything uh, and they don't need anybody else. The Empress is sufficient on her own. She can grow and manifest and create on her own. She wouldn't take BS. That's not her energy. I almost am getting someone trying to approach this Empress with an offer. See what I'm saying here? A knight that's coming to offer something to this Empress. So, let me get one more. Can you tell me more about this Nine of Wands? Reverse. Why is the Nine of Wands reverse? King of Wands. Yeah, I feel like someone's attracted to this Empress. Wants this Empress. Desires this Empress. And there's a Ten of Wands. Interesting. I'm almost getting like um, this Empress is um, being bothered in a way. Or sees this as a burden. I'm not sure why I'm picking that up. It's almost like whatever this offer is, whatever this King of Wands is wanting, this Empress is kind of like, not really, it's a scene and more, she's seeing things more as problems than opportunities. But I don't know why. Tell me about the devil. What's this devil about? 
minus the double here. Three of wands. Why is the double here? Waiting, waiting, waiting. Two cards for waiting. Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles. It's like they're waiting. Are you waiting for this person? Is there somebody waiting here? Are you waiting for some sort of attachment to what? What are you waiting for? What's this Three of Wands and Seven of Pentacles about? Why is the Three of Wands here with the Seven of Pentacles? Six of Swords, waiting to leave. So you're waiting to leave a situation or you're waiting for someone to leave a situation. Some of you could be dealing, you know, I see so many different ways that this could apply, but I feel like some of you could be dealing with either a feminine energy in your life that's an interference, or they have a feminine energy in their life as an interference. And it's almost like you want the, this interference to not be an issue anymore. I also am getting like this, this interference could be that someone doesn't want this offer to be given to someone else. I don't know. It's very strange energy. And that's why this is just, this is making me pause here. Because the Empress is not going to, you know, if this Empress is you, you would not be dealing with a, a, a bad situation, but maybe you are. Like if this is beneath you. But I'm starting to think now that this Empress might not be you. Let's see what else we get. Tell me about the Two of Cups reverse. Why is the Two of Cups reverse? What happened here? There's definitely some sort of separation. Yeah, Five of Wands. Some sort of conflict between you and another and this other person. There could have been drama, interferences here. So let's look at your person's energy. Why is the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords here? I feel like these are connected. Why is the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords here? Nine of Wands. Yeah. This person could have uh, could have lost your trust or caused there to be trust issues. Like their actions caused issues in your connection. The star, Aquarius energy, and the Knight of Wands. Again, I feel like this is somebody that wants to heal this or fix this. Can I get one more for this? Five of Pentacles. Five of Swords. Tell me about this Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Lovers, and there's a Six of Cups at the bottom. So Gemini energy, soulmate energy. I feel like this person is hoping that your bond is strong enough to deal with this or to heal this, or like that's a that's probably why there's a possibility for um, a second chance is because your bond your bond is so strong or your connection is so strong. So what's this Eight of Wands about? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Why is the Eight of Wands here? <laughs> Clarify by the Eight of Wands, okay. Why is the Eight of Wands here? The Wheel of Fortune. Again, movement forward. This is movement forward. This is... um events unfolding in a way that propels things forward. This is um, momentum. Can you get one more for this Eight of Wands? Six of Cups again. And the Hangman. Two of Wands. So, okay, Six of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. This is like divine timing or 
It could even be like past life connection. I feel like this is somebody that wants to move things forward with you. It's like they don't like where things are at. I feel like they're forced to wait. Yeah. Seven of Wands and Two of Wands. It's like they're being, there's resistance and it causes them, it's, it's like it keeps them kind of stuck in a way with the Two of Wands. Like I'm picturing someone that wants to choose a path, but they can't because they're being blocked. And there's the hangman here. So I'm almost getting like someone's kind of blocked. Ooh, almost, oh no. Hold on. <laughs> I almost dropped all my cards. And this deck is all upright, so let me make sure that I have the cards right. Here. Of course I would drop all of these. Okay, let me try that again. to get a clarifier for the hangman you give me some insight spirit into the hangman why is the hangman here page of cups i do think that this is an apology can you even see that no of course i do think this is an apology Someone wants to apologize. They have a lot of emotions tied into this with the Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands is here. Um, I do feel like this is somebody that's interested in rekindling things. But with the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, I feel like there's something that maybe you're cautious about. And it, there's a good reason for you to be cautious about it. It could be hiding something from you. Can we get some insight into this person's energy that Sagittarius is or will be dealing with? I hate who I really am from you. Yeah. And then bottom of the deck, I have I love you. Well, I mean, great. But why are you hiding? They hid something from you. This person hid something from you. And I feel like it caused a rift between you and this person. Something's out in the open now, and I feel like this person is trying to do damage control. Can we get some more um, insight into this person's energy? This person that Sagittarius is or will be dealing with. I got two. I'm afraid you matter to me, and I can't let you go at the bottom of the deck. I don't know what they're afraid of. They're probably afraid of your rejection. I think that there's already something that happened between you where you distanced your, distance yourself from this person or there was a divide between you and this person. I don't see that really changing. What I see happening is this person's thinking about communicating with you, possibly apologizing to you. And I feel like they're kind of waiting to see where you stand. But... At the end of the day, I think whatever has been, like whatever's out in the open here was so big that I think this person is afraid to lose control and lose you. Can you give me some insight into this King of Swords? One more, please. For this King of Swords. I feel like this is the most important thing. Yeah, the world and then the chariot, the bottom of the deck. So I feel like this... There's like a new beginning or a new cycle that has started now that all of this is out in the open. And this could be that somebody's ready to move on from this connection, or it could be that somebody's ready to move this connection forward. But I feel like this person is hiding something from you still, and that needs to be addressed. Otherwise, I'll leave it here. Sagittarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon.